There we go, we got some stager updates. So let's go in here, you know what? Let's go into the comma key, let's look at something cool. We'll go into project, demo projects. We'll open up the demo drone. Let's go ahead and turn off the floor, turn off perspective, and let's go ahead and alt tap this subtool right here so we can select it. I'm gonna go into BI brush insert IMM primitives, hit M as in Michael, grab an insert cube, and we're just gonna insert a cube uh, right onto this subtool here. And of course we can go through here and Kind of even that out a bit. So uh, it's already masked off when we inserted it. So we're going to go in here to Subtool, Split, Unmask Points. And now we have the original surface we inserted that on and our new IMM object here. So we'll go ahead and have that one selected. Uh, so let's go ahead and dial this shape in. So I'm going to scale it in and scale it out and scale it down a little bit. So this is the overall shape that we want. Now I can go through here and I can hold down control and drag off a copy. And if I let go of control, once I dial in the distance and keep dragging, it'll just keep duplicating this out. Uh, and in this instance, you see one, two, three, four, five, six copies, all evenly distributed. Speaking of distributing, we do have subtool, uh, distribute and align now in ZBrush. So wait for videos on those. Uh, but anyway, so you can do that. Uh, if we control Z to undo, what you can also do is go down here to geometry stager. Uh, if you're not familiar with stager from previous videos, you can set a home stage. We'll hit W, move this down, set that as our target stage, and you can actually just switch between those stages. Of course, you can model it on it, model on it up here, model on it down here. That's stager, basically. Another thing you can do now, though, is you can interpolate. So if we go to the stages count, we'll drop this down to six. We'll hit interpolate, and you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, copies all distributed. However, one thing that control dragging out copies won't be able to do, if we undo this, let's just undo back to where we just have our object sitting up here. So we can again set a home stage, we can drag this out, and if we go through here and let's scale it down a bit, uh, set that as its target stage, stages count still set at six, and interpolate. Now as it interpolates, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and get smaller as it interpolates down. Now you also notice a little copy and paste down here. So let's undo back. So we just have our original uh, subtool here. Let's take this subtool, let's duplicate it off. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna move this back a little bit, maybe move it up and we'll scale this down. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a, just an inset right here. And in fact, we can make it a different color. I'm gonna hover over this orange in my uh, document here, hit tap the C key to inherit that orange color, go up here to color, fill object. Now I have a white square and an orange square. So with the white square selected, I can hit W. We'll go down here to stage or we'll set that as our home stage. And then one more time, we'll move this down, scale it in, set that as our target stage. Our stages count is still set at six. Uh, before I interpolate, I'm gonna hit copy. So then I can go ahead and interpolate, get that result. I can go back to this object. I can go back down, say, paste that'll paste the exact settings through here i can interpolate this result and there i go it copied those settings to this subtool and of course if you want to you can turn this to subtractive you can go in here to lie boolean and cut out little orange notches on here we can actually go in here and we'll make these notches a little bit deeper there there we go so get a cool little orange notch built into those again using geometry and stager and interpolate uh, to get cool designs and patterns one more thing I want to mention with stager is if you go down here again to geometry, stager, and you get the home and target stage, I'm going to take his body and I'm going to move him into place. But before I do that, of course, I want to set a home stage. So this is where he's at home. And then this is where he's away, target stage. And then if I go in here to Z plug in, I'm going to drag this over to the side. If you go to subtool master, there's some really cool stuff in here. One of the ones I use all the time is copying, pasting folders. What you're going to see in there is a do visible. And now you're going to see a copy paste stager. So what that's going to do is it's going to do visible, which means any tools that are visible on my screen, it's going to copy and paste those stager values uh, to my other subtools. So when I hit OK, it went ahead and pasted those values. So now for any one of these subtools, if I go back through here and I alt tap his shirt, you're going to see I can now switch stage and his shirt will now hop over to where the new uh, target stage is. And in fact, if we go up here to subtool, you're going to see we have an all to home and all to target. Again, that's your home stage and your target stage. You can say, all to target and all to home now, again, using that subtool master visibility and uh, stager functionality.